Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host Jake. Today I'm joined by Ben from Northern TCG. Hello. And Kurt from Locals. Hello. How was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Let's start with you, Kurt. Oh, um, okay. Sunday. Wait. This, today? Today? No, we'll start with last Tuesday. Okay. Last Tuesday I was playing Runic Chimera. That didn't, uh, didn't do too bad. Round one of us, Leo. Went to game three. I normally don't win against either Leo, Jake, or you. I, I rarely ever win. But anyway, I top deck Dark Ruler game three, um, and he still played through it. So I thought he was going to say I. So I flipped back and immediately won, and I won that game. And <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm coming. I'm coming there. I'm coming there. Game two, I versus someone. I think he was playing Phantom Knights. That was an easy win. And then game three, I versus Ben, and I ended up. Winning against him just because I stole him out with Tikamu. <laughs> he flipped TC Blue and I was like, oh, sick. <laughs> like, eight turns later I out it. And then he's like, I also had the barrier. And I was like, knew that was there. <laughs> but cool. One floodgate at a time, please. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but then today, it was okay. I versed Luke round one. He says it was okay. He hasn't told you the story yet. That is true. Tell me the story. Uh, we'll get there. Um... Now. Round one of us, so round one of us, Luke, and good game one. I ended up putting out my whole board. I was playing Horus Runic. Yes. And the fuck is that supposed to do? Yeah, what does that? <laughs> what does that accomplish? Uh, so Runic's that part. Yep. Yeah, Runic does the thing where you Horus, can't actually get games. For Horus turns. allows me to get out an IP, a Photon Lord, and a okay. Pope Harpenter. Okay. I thought you were going to say it's so that I can dis- I can discard my quick plays so turn one I can draw three. <laughs> nah. <laughs> okay. I thought that's where you were going to go there's with a, this. There's I was a, like... There is a draw. It's, I needed the runic for a draw engine to get more cards so that Horus's could pinch. Um, but yeah. Ra- round one, game one, I versed Luke and he was like... He scooped game one because he just didn't have enough to get out the board. Game two, we both bricked very hard. I opened up Every single Horus that is not the Imseti. Ah, uh, okay. Plus Lava Golem and a Runic Fountain. I'm like, yeah, cool. Mm. I, yum, will, yum, yum. I will pass on this. <laughs> Should add some trade-ins. I, I did think about that. How yeah. many names are you playing? One of each, three of the Imseti. Oh, only six. Eh, that makes it... I don't think those odds are great Yeah, to open both. Um. Yeah. Game three, Dark rolled me, and I was he couldn't do it much. Yes. Round two, I versed Bragg's brother. Yep. Oh, he was in again. Yeah, he came oh, in. Uh, he was playing Mac Mac. He, I got him game one, game two. He access code me for game game three. He just gave up. Ah. I put my board up, and he's just like, I don't want to play through that. Okay, cool. Which Round three. Sense. Kurt out here chasing people away from our locals. Round three. Round three. Three. I verse this dude is just playing a pile of pendulum stuff. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> go on. <laughs> Game one. I go. F- he he wins the dice throw and makes me go first. Interesting for pendulum. Okay. Yeah. I then activate a runic spell, and you could sense. How mad he was. Oh, it's one of these stories. I like yeah. these stories. Okay. Man was just... Oh, okay. You're playing that. I went through my combo. Did the fountain draw three. Then got to Jen. Summoned Jen. Summoned Ken to his field. He's like, what do you mean? The opponent just draws two. I'm like, yeah, it's your card now. I get it. I am the opponent. I'm your opponent. <laughs> So then I just kept on drawing. Ended up on my main board of IP and all that. And he's just like, set pendulum, set pendulum, pass. I'm like, okay. Set pendulum? Uh, No, like activate the pendulums, but just... Activate the Because he activated three and four, he couldn't do anything. Ah. Hmm. Men's doesn't know numbers. 
Well, he saw, had a it's level the one that's an, I wasn't sure if he could it, summon it. It was the one that was an eight, but if I have more cards in my hand, it goes to four. Oh, that one's fucking garbage. Oh, I, <laughs> a while so back, because you're playing because Runic, I'm playing Runic, I just had so many cards in hand. hand. Okay, I remember that that card caused me so many problems when I was doing the solo mode for Brag in like the one where you like specifically had to make the rank seven odd eyes nonsense. Yeah. It was like one of the only good scales. And the amount of times I was like, okay, now I've got it. Fuck my scales changed. <laughs> <laughs> so he does that goes I win game one. Game two pretty much he does the exact same thing. Activates his pendulums, pass. I'm like, I'm just going to break this. Break After this? the game I can break these scales. He showed me the hand traps he's playing. He's playing Shifter at three in it. In Pamela. Yes. That's a poor idea. But also it doesn't help him. It doesn't no, it's, help it's me it's at bad all. Against Maybe he just didn't know that the pens go to the bin before they go to the... Well, no, he did, because he kept oh. on sending them to the... Uh, the Banish. Okay, that's Well, he never activated it. I'm just was wondering Yeah, but why that's what Ben's saying, is that yeah. maybe he's not aware that um, despite the... Despite the same thing, they don't go to they graveyard, still go they still go to banish. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, the game three, round three was just weird. Damn, yes. no one pulled an ulti. Oh, Ooh. good. That means so there's... Thrust and Nora still there, plus a random one out of it. Fantastic. I was, I was going to get annoyed if he pulled the thrust. <laughs> ben, how was your week? Well, at the moment, I'm trying to figure out my mic situation. Hopefully, it's <laughs> sounding good and it's not picking up too much, Jake. Um... What do you mean, Ben? <laughs> so my week in Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, Tuesday night was pretty shit. Um, I lost a lot of games. I think I only won one. I can't remember who I beat. It wasn't me. I think it was one of the few locals we didn't verse. Yeah, true. So, yeah, Tuesday was really shit. Um, so I played a lot of Master Duel because I didn't go to, to cards today. I've decided... Actually, can you just pull that, fix up that curtain there? Uh, try and pull it behind? Yeah, I was going to say, try and move that I probably further. have like a huge white line on my face. Um, yeah. Perfect. Yeah, I was like looking at that like... Mm. <laughs> um, so I've been playing a lot of Master Duel. In Duelist Cup, mm -hmm. Makanko existing is fucked. Yes. Because it's best of one... Like, I found myself wanting to lose every coin toss. Because then it told me what my opponents were playing. Yeah. Yes. Like, every time I won a coin toss, I was like, fuck, I won the coin toss. Shit. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I found myself just wanting to lose. I was like, please? Don't. No, 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 no. Because, like, if you win the die roll, you choose to go first, you lose. You start yeah. playing, you lose. You build the board and... You play yeah. a single card, you lose. You see a kaiju come up, you're just like, oh, fuck, here we go. Yep, awesome. Uh, outs Makunko, Blackwing. You know what outs Makunko? Not um, Blackwing. Cosmic Cycle. No, uh, I play two Kash, Kash Tira, the defense position one. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, that outs Makunko. Yeah, because they go to attack. They take the damage like... and the card dies. Yeah. So, yeah. You just go... Mm. So, like... When my opponents were playing Makanko stuff, I would make sure to try and keep two in rotation. So I'd summon one so they'd have to out that. They'd have to leave the rest of my board because then they can't swing into my shit if my other cash cards yeah. are there or that's there. So they have to out that and then I'd be like, oh, how unfortunate. Summon it back. <laughs> I have another one. So, yeah, I, def I figured that out and was like, I just need to keep this card here and I'm Gucci. And like the amount of times like my opponents had I'd do a fair bit of damage but not be able to kill them. They're on the counter swing, almost kill me, but I'd survive. And then I'd be like, ah, oh, cool. Summon. My opponent would like commit their quick play, their trap to out the one that I've just summoned. I'm like, oh no. Summon. Birth it back. <laughs> 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 so like that was at least fun. Um, I, I got to the top of Duelist League, so I finished that. Oh, you've got to DLV max? Yeah, I DLV maxed. Um, now I'm back to playing ranked. But... Yeah. That ranked is, like, significantly easier. Oh, yeah. Like, ranked is, like, playing against children. Compared to, like... Well, Duelist League was easy until I got to number 20. Yeah, like, the Like, I literally was just, like, win, 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 win. And I got yep. to the last, le like, last stage, and I was like, fuck, now I've got to win five. And this is a pain in my ass, having to, like... Yeah. 
Is it win five in a row, or is it like no? Win... Just win five. Uh, but like every well, loss takes you back. Takes one. You, back. Back one. you have to yeah. accumulatively get. To I five. did come back into muscle. Like, I got <gasps> oh. those three black wing structures. Ah, oh. of course you're playing. <laughs> so <laughs> just to get gems up. Like something else that pissed me off was like I was then getting like I was metagaming myself and I was like, here we go. I'm now just gonna choose to go second. And then my opponents just fucking play barrier start, and I'm like, hmm. this is not we go. gone the way I was hoping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like at one point, my opponent had fucking like Jiaogan and the other guy. Uh, oh, Fossil Dino. Yeah, both equipped with Moon Mirror Shields. Oh, fuck right off. And I was like, sick, awesome. I can't just Fenry you. And I was like, I just need to draw birth, draw not birth. Just need to draw birth, draw not birth. Just need to draw birth. Uh, draw Pot of Desires. I'm like, yes. Activate Pot of Desires. Banish three birth and my harpies. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> sick. Oh, I'm just lost. God. Awesome. Um, so yeah, that was probably the predominance of my week in Yu-Gi-Oh. Just a lot of Master Duel. Um, I've been sending screenshots through the chat. Thing? Yeah? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, I think I'm at like the 80s of that. I'll probably finish that tonight or tomorrow. And then I'll be done with it for a while. But I've been sending well, screenshots through to the group of like all the stupid decks I've been playing. And I'm like, I'm in platinum, diamond, diamond, diamond. And I'm like, how am I playing against equip spell Honestly, deck? Yeah, <laughs> since they integrated the master level, yeah, you find other ranks some, are just shit. Yeah, you find some absolute trash yeah. in the other ranks. I, I guess <laughs> because we're pretty late in the season, so all of these other people yeah, have just been able to brute end. force their way to the top. But I'm still just like. What are we doing here? What are we doing? So yeah, that was my weekend here. Cool. How's your shoot? Uh So on Tuesday, uh, I um, was first round against the Vanquish Soul dude, uh, and I got my uh, <laughs> my vengeance because uh, he had the Tikaboos, but I had the so. outs. So I was like, "Fuck you and your floodgates! You can suck a dick." Someone commented on the video of you versus me the other day, mm -hmm. and it was, it was yeah last night they commented and they were like. 1720 Jake finally draws it out <laughs> <laughs> and I was like oh yes yeah disregard all the games we play off camera and I just have the fucking lightning storms and yeah. the dusters on camera and... <laughs> Jake finally has an out <laughs> yes on camera I am vindicated <laughs> off camera you're just like man this stop drawing fucking time. <laughs> every time almost every time that's what happens when you play a deck that loses that shit it's yeah, okay. it happens. Um, so yeah, uh, beat him, um, and then I can't remember if it was this Tuesday. No, it wouldn't have been. I can't remember who I versed round two, but I beat them. Um, and then I was against Leo in the finals in round three. Got to game three. Didn't you verse the Vanquish all second? Didn't you verse the Phantom Knight dude first? Yes, yes, that's it. So yeah, versed uh, Phantom Knight without Horus because it wasn't legal yet. Uh, Destroyed that. Um, that guy's a nice guy. He is a nice guy. Um, that watching, hopefully improves kind of once Horus engine comes in. But although I don't, I kind of think that's what I'm going to put my Horus engine into. You're going to play PK Horus? Yeah, I bought a Horus engine, and I'm like, I don't want to play two elements with this shit. Like, I might just play like PK with the three two elements names, just to be like, ah, they go to grave, they go to grave. Yeah, make some fusions for funsies. Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, beat him round one, beat Vanquish Soul round two versus Leo in round three, got to game three, and opened all three bricks in my deck. And one trap that like saved me a turn, but it was like I needed to also draw something else. Because um, it was like a Fiendish Rhino Warrior, uh, the blue level six, and the level eight with 3k defense. Uh, none of which do anything for you in hand. It okay. was... Very bad. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah that was that. Um, and then, yeah, didn't play today because I had a friend's uh, birthday party, uh, but have also been playing a lot of Master Duel for the Duelist Cup. Um, was I started with Sword Soul, but then I kept having issues with, like, Cash Tira and just consistency in general. Uh, so I decided to become the villain and also play Cash Tira. Uh, it cost me so many gems, yeah, and sensitive. I hate it so much. Yeah. It's... A See, really disgusting deck to play. I hate playing it. I was playing <laughs> Pearly, but because I'm catching the train to work at the moment, I had like 
find that I was only getting through like two games because I was like, this deck takes so fucking it long takes to play. Too long. Mm-hmm. Yep. So I was like, I'm just gonna switch to Cash Tira. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so I am currently at DLV 19. Uh, a lot of last night was spent trying to get to DLV Max and just getting completely destroyed on the very last duel that I needed and then like falling uh, back down. So I'm just in twice. like a weird yo-yo thing at the moment. Like some of them have been genuinely good like back and forth matches. Yeah. The others have just been like, oh, I've opened no playable monsters and you have full combo. Like, uh, the amount of thrusts I've been getting hit with as well... Oh my god, ...has it's, been absurd. It's the worst so thing about thrust. the mirror match is, like, you just get wrecked going second. Like, if they're yeah. playing tactics and thrust, you just die. Yeah. Like, the amount of cash to your players I've versed who are clearly more prepared for the mirror match than I am is absurd. Because I set up, like, the board, and granted, I'm not a great cash player... I treat it very much like this is a brain dead deck. I'm not going to become a good cash tier player because it's like, yeah. oh, I'm the smartest person in the kindergarten. Who gives a fuck? Like, that's not a title I care about. Jake's abusing me when I was the smartest person. <laughs> <in the game. laughs> so I set up the board. They go like evenly, banish all the stuff, and I have like just the um, Arise Heart Xyz. And then they're like, oh, I'll activate Thrust to take tactics out of the deck and then the mandatory trigger and then they steal my thing and overlay over the top of it and all this shit like i just get fucking owned in the mirror matches uh and then like the makunko ones the fucking makunkos like it when (laughs) when it's telegraphed and they're like oh yeah i won the dice roll but i want you to go first just to say yeah cool all right i'm not gonna activate any hand traps you can do as many searches as you like i'm not putting a fucking thing in the bin you can go yeah fuck off or you can ash them that's okay well, no, the thought then process they I had... Then the kaiju. Well, yeah, yeah, this yeah. is the process I had. I was like, I don't want to put anything in my graveyard until I know I can push for game. Yeah. And then the times that I thought I could push for game, they, like, have an obscure-ass hand trap or just, like, the right level of interaction yeah. to have me with something on the board and also survive. I got Moonlit Shield so many times against Makanko. Moonlit Shield? Because um, I don't have the cross out for it. I was like... Mm. The other card that keeps fucking me up, and it's not just in the Makanko match... Well, it's not even in the Makanko matchup. They're not really using it. But in other matchups is... I get Book of Eclipsed so much. I've never been Book of Eclipsed. So many times. Like, I'll summon the Fenrir, I'll search the thing, summon the level 4, and then they're just like, eh, Eclipse. I'm just like, well, I can't play. <laughs> so, I'm playing Book of Moon in my deck? Mm. I had it. Just there's something I can go, boop, out. Yeah. Um, I cut the shifters in the mm-hmm. end. I, I cut shifter four lightning storms. Yep. I was like, in, in my deck, I need these to handle. If I choose to go, if I'm just fat choosing to go second, I need something to stop floodgate decks. Yeah. So I was yeah. like, the lightning storms have to be in my See, deck. See, we had a very similar process, right? Because I also had shifters and uh, book of moons in my deck. Yep. I took the shifters out for evenly matched. Yep. Because I needed something if I was going second, especially into like fully built cash tier boards. So yep. I just wasn't going to be able to push through and like the occasional pearly and all that kind of shit and then um i took out the book of moons for cosmic cyclones for the makunko matchup yeah. so it's like oh, they go equip card i'm like cosmic banish golly so something that i have found and i'm not sure whether or not i'm just still misreading the situation in regular Yu Gi Oh, whenever i play against makunko player and they uh, equip the Makanko spell that steals to my monster, they just go, oh, it happens. You don't get to respond. And I'm like, in Master Duel, it definitely lets me respond to the activation of that equip spell play, of that equip which card. Which equip play? So the equip play, oh, there's an equip that steals your monster? In Makanko? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, maybe, yeah. There is one. I'm pretty sure you have to have a Makanko on the board, though. I also think it has to be activated by the effect of another card for it to just steal your monster. If they hard equip it to you, you get a, spawn, a chance to respond. Yeah, right. But if, so I'm fairly sure if they use the one that equips one from deck, then it just auto-steals. Yeah, right. But if they hard activate it from hand, you can respond. Also, I wouldn't put it past my Kanko player to just Judge. cheat. <laughs> yeah. It's, like, that deck is fucking terrible in best of three Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. Best of one Yu-Gi-Oh where you don't know what your opponent's playing, it's fucked. Yeah, it's not good. And that was my rant on Makanko. Yeah, fuck Makanko. Also, I don't, I'm not a big fan of the current Bastardor format. Like, I gr- granted, I understand Tier wasn't people's favourite. There was, like, obviously a hard line between people that were like, yep, fun, love it. 
and people that were like, fuck off, please just stop. But this format is no better. I feel like two ban lists from now, Master Rule's going to be really fun. Yes. Mm. But you're only saying that because you feel like you're going to get the extra rest UA stuff and you get to play the deck you'd like to play. Well, yeah, but by that point, they'll probably hit part of the deck. They'll give us the other two things and they'll be like... Do you reckon they will? Yeah. Do you reckon they'll bother? Uh, Yeah. Hydrant to one. Because, like, they'll give uh, Pearly the rest of their shit and then they'll start limiting the Pearly stuff at the same time. The Pearly stuff kind of needs to be, in fairness. Yeah. I didn't probably give that much Pearly. When is the spatter coming in? I, I imagine, was... I think I brought this up a, a week or two ago, is that I feel like they're going to bring in all the new branded stuff at once. So That's Quem, ten. Lulu. Yeah, Quem, Lulu, Lilith, the new Fusion, the new Trap, um, and yet yeah, the Dispater and all that shit. That'll all come in at once. Yeah. Please be soon. Um, before right. we get into the news, Jake, we do want to make a little bit of an air announcement. We do? Yeah, we do. Which I, announcements So we haven't figured out the full details yet, but... Uh, we're going to be making a post, well, I guess I'll be making a post pretty soon in... Uh, yeah, you're saying we're Discords. making an announcement, but um, <laughs> tell me what it was. So we're going to be doing our usual, like, mega ban list tournament that we do every year um, for a fundraiser. We're going to be doing that again this year. Uh, we're going to do it as a physical tournament again this time. So I guess if you're watching, you live in Sydney or you live in and around and want to make the trip, uh, we're going to be doing that at the end of December. So the two locals likely before Christmas... Um, still figuring out the specific date, but that'll be the case. Uh, we're going to be doing our mega ban list tournament where you can donate money to change the ban list ahead of time. So we're making a post in both discords to be like, hey, you want to start banning things, you want to come along, come along. Um, there'll be links to donation links. Uh, all the money's going to be going to Beyond Blue this year. So we're going to have all that going there. Uh, if you want to ban cards, it's like $5 to move a card one spot on the ban list. So if you're going ban limited, 5 bucks, Limited semi, 5 bucks. Band to three, uh, three to two, five bucks. Trust me, that comes up a lot. Uh, if you move a card or someone pays to move a card, you can't then change that. So if I put Maxi to three, no one else can touch Maxi. That card is at three for the tournament. Um, so it'll be a case of you can donate up until the end of November. That will then close off. Everyone then gets three weeks to build their deck and come along to the tournament. Um, yeah, if you're in Sydney or you're around, definitely make the trip down. Um, We'll be working out what price support and stuff's going to be along the way, but at the end of the day, realistically, we're we're there to raise money. So, and it I generally think... is pretty fun. Um, like it does, obviously, force you to play in different scenarios as yes. to what you'd want to play ideally, and you do see some pretty interesting stuff come up in the course of the tournament as well. People will target you. Yes, <laughs> the the benefit of this one is that you know what you're going to be playing ahead of time. Yes, the online ones that we've done have been absolute chaos. And in that decks the that you have played, you start around with a deck, and then by the end of it, people have seen you people play it watched and it tear it apart. Yeah, um, I am one of the biggest victims for this. <laughs> yes. Um, so yeah, we're going to be doing it as a physical event. Come along if you can. Um, if not, by all means, just fucking jump in, donate some money. Goes to a good course, so. Are we gonna? Be, did you say we're gonna be streaming? Yeah, well, everything will get uploaded. Yeah, we'll, we'll but we'll keep you posted with more details, uh, particularly we'll in our live. Discord. Um, so keep tuned in there, and we'll let you know when more details arrive. Yes. Um, look forward to hopefully seeing you on stream or in the store. Yeah. Um, Go but make the trip. Make the trip. Would be awesome to see some of you there. But we move on to some news, and we start with Master Duel. So as we discussed, we are in the midst of the Duelist Cup. Um, so I'm not sure when Stage 2 starts, but I imagine it's soon. Uh, when you make it to the top level, it tells you it's like the 21st, I think, or 23rd, one of the two. Oh, so like today. Yeah, like when you get it, it's like, hey, cool, here's your invite. So, yeah, I'm just seeing yeah. if it had the date of it in here, and it doesn't. Um, so yeah, that's underway at the moment. Um, not a lot of other card news, but they have added some assets. Obviously, once the tournament's done, they'll have like the gold, silver, bronze of Duelist Cup 2023, whatever, whatever. But they also added a new mate, which I'm very happy about, which is the Unchained Abomination. I played against that once and I saw it and was like, disregard. How dare you? I'll be real, I saw it in the entry screen and then completely forgot to even look at it. It looks once the game so started. good. And it's like, oh, it's okay. really well animated as well. It looks better really than nice. derpy fucking totally awesome. Yeah, the so, one with dead fucking eyes. <laughs> yeah, they did a really good job with it. Um, 
The only thing that I'm sad about is that, like, because it's Duelist Cup that I've been playing predominantly, is that, like, the field and the sleeves and things are all locked in. Yeah. Oh, Whereas, like, yeah. I wanted to play with, like, the Pal Labyrinth evil board and the black sleeves yeah. and all that kind of shit, and I can't do any of that. <laughs> Big satch. Um, but yeah, Duelist Cup obviously underway. Lots of gems on offer, so um, if you've got a semi-competent deck, you can just go in, grind, get some gems, build up for the deck you want. Um, then we move on to some more card announcements from Phantom Nightmare. Uh, once I find... The final one. card announcements? Um, Surely right. we get to the end of these cards getting announced. It still seems quite like locked in. Like They're not quite the scraps yet. Okay. Like, yeah. So, so you're telling me we, there's a chance we could get literal scrap monsters announced? Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe not. Um, so, uh, one of the first ones we got announced earlier this week was The Passage of Stars and Frost, which is a quick play spell. If a monster or monsters you controlled was destroyed by your spell effect or an opponent's card effect and sent to the graveyard this turn, you can conduct your battle phase twice, your next battle phase twice. And if a monster or monsters you control is returned to the deck or face down extra deck while this card is in the graveyard, add it back to hand. So very heavily geared towards uh, Tier Element. Yeah. Um, and it is law based on them because it does have two of the uh, right, the heart, what's his name? Visus off branches, like cooperating with each other. I think it's Visus Samsara and uh, Reichhart, I think his name is. Okay. I think it, like the actual guys is called Heart, I think. No, it's Visus Starfrost. No, like the right heart guy. I don't know. I a part got played on me the other day that was like add a heart card, and I was like, huh, that's weird. Which ad- adds any of those monsters? I didn't think that was a thing. We have like maybe f- I'd imagine this. There's only fifty-two known cards. Oh, okay. Yeah, we've still got a still lot. Got like half the set to come. Goat's Goat's got an app that tells him the fucking cards that have been announced. Damn. Well, this is only the 80 card set. So yeah, there's a smaller than so ours because we... So you're close to the ship getting announced. Yeah. Pretty close, yeah. Um, although some of this stuff isn't particularly great, although the artwork's fantastic. <laughs> the Master of Ham! <laughs> uh, so it's a level 5 like Earth Beast card. Fusion. It's adorable, but like its applications are limited. Can you instant fusion this card out? Yeah, 100%. Fuck yeah. Um, there's an there's well, effect trigger. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, uh, level 5, Earth Beast Fusion. Uh, two Beast Monsters are the materials, although ideally you're not actually summoning it. Uh, if this card is Fusion Summoned or Flip Face Up, you can special summon one Flip Monster from your hand or deck in face down defense position. If it's in your graveyard, banish two Flip Monsters from your graveyard and or face up field. Special summon it in face down defense, but banish it when it leaves. Instant Fusion Fusion Summons? Yes. Okay. Yes, it is regarded as a Fusion Summon, and then when it goes to graveyard, it is still allowed to come back. Okay. So you, yeah, instant fusion is the best way to get it out. However, instant fusion is at one. So what did Norden do? Hmm? What did Norden do? So when it's fusion summoned, it specials one back. Specials are level four. Remember, Norden can be unbanned. Ready fusion. Oh normal, Christ! Oh, I didn't think about that. Oh God. What? Ready fusion's normal. Yeah, level six or lower yeah. normal. Yeah. yeah, can't have any of the effecty thingies. Uh, so yeah, can't see that coming into play. But I can instant fusion and set a penguin. <laughs> you could. Or man it a bug. Yeah, Ham eater bug. No, no, you're Wait. thinking too small. Noble man eater bug. Why destroy one when you can destroy two? Ooh. When are we getting ham eater bug? Ham eater bug. This is just a hamster. <laughs> Make it a part of the law. Give us ham eater bug. I wonder if they will do an entire archetype because at the moment this seems super random. I don't know. Yeah. It seems pretty fucking spot on. It's just a fusion monster that they give us every now and then that just does something cool. It's, yeah. Random ass fusions that do cool shit. Um, speaking of random, we have a new counter trap. Uh, so this one is currently translated as Steel Steed Thunderhammer or Iron Thunderhammer. Uh, so when a spell, trap, or monster effect is activated on the field, pay half your life points and get the activation if you do destroy that card. Then destroy all cards in the spell and trap and monster zones in its same column. Wait, in that col- column or the card that it negates? Um, then destroy all cards in the spell and trap zone and monster zones in its same column. So as far as I can work out, it's the column that the monster mm, or targeting. spell or trap was in. Okay. So like, sure, like you go here and if you've got a card behind it, it will boop. Yeah, yeah. So it's but it also just hits kind of yours. Correct. It is not a choice whether you can do mm. that. So if your opponent knows that you're playing this, not that they would, 
uh, and plays accordingly, they can blow up some of your it's blue cards too. Play into your columns. Yeah. Sure. I mean, if they're playing <laughs> Mech Knights. Mech Knights. <laughs> <laughs> it always comes this back to Mech Knights. This card becomes meta. Mech Knights just out it. Um, and not that anyone particularly cares, but in the artwork of this, it's uh, Tiamatan, the Iron Dragon. Oh. The one that was like, if you have three or more, if there's three or more cards in the yeah. same column, summon and then blow up oh, the column. Makes sense. So yeah, it's kind of thematic. It's cute. Yeah. Um, are there any more for... Yes. Uh, another one that we have is the Enigmaster Packbit. Uh, level 8 Water Cyber Synchro. Uh, if it's Synchro Summoned or sent to the grave, target a face a monster your opponent controls or one monster in your graveyard, discard a card, and if you do, place that target face up in the owner's spell and trap zone as a continuous trap. Uh, during other players' turn, with the card is treated as a continuous trap, you can special summon one face up monster card from your spell and trap zone. Okay. Mm. So it's designed, I feel like, more so to get itself into the spell and trap zone. Yeah. Which, like, I suppose it's kind of geared to help that Centurion archetype that's coming out. That makes sense. You can special summon yeah. those ones and then they do the things. When do we get that? That's in the so... deck build pack at the end of the year? Yeah. Yes. Oh, remember, we're only a week and a half away from Rarity Collection. It's not this Thursday next Yes, Thursday. and we know nothing about what's in it. Rarity? Oh, cool. they, I, They're not going to give that to YouTubers. They're going to wait. Yeah, they'll... Because if it's good, people are going to buy it. If it's shit, then people will buy it on pre-order. Mm -hmm. mm, true. Who knows, maybe they'll give it to YouTubers. They won't give it to me. No, absolutely not. Because yeah, I say words like fuck. <laughs> and I'm in Australia. <laughs> I mean, that's part of our language. I feel like that's racist. You know what that is? Uh, next You're one. a racist, Jerome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I see. I heart Jerome week is already over. <laughs> Uh, we got another card that's sort of hyped up uh, in EMP Gren Grenade. I don't know. They've got like seven different names for this card. <laughs> oh, it's another one on the IP line, is it? Yeah. So I'm going to call it Sick. EMP Granada because oh, that's the that one that one. I've heard. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I can only special summon it by its effect once per turn. If there's a link monster on the field or in either graveyard, special summon it from your hand. And if a link two monster is sent to the graveyard or banished face up, except during damage step, banish it from the graveyard or hand, then target one card your opponent controls, return it to the hand. Okay, that's pretty cool. It's not bad, it's, it's an extender. It's an extender that gives it. your outs an extra out. Yeah. Yes. So yeah. Uh, you, link, you special from the hand, you link someone with Unchained it. link, make IP, I mean not IP, SP, SP banish itself and something else, and then this triggers and bounces something else. Mm. So Unchained has 17 disruptions now. <laughs> yeah. actually cool. I, I appreciate they're filling out this law yeah oh speaking of the law because uh, I seem to be bringing it up for every card that we chat about today uh, so um, if anyone wasn't super aware SP Little Knight is one of the S Force huh? uh, the little ninja one yeah. I don't know if anyone played the solo mode in Master Duel, but she's the one that like chats you through everything. So SP Little Knight is her after she chased down IP and they had like a, a heartfelt conversation and she flips sides. Oh. She's not with the S Force anymore. She betrayed no. the S Force. She betrayed the S Force. <laughs> yeah. She wasn't she a fan Force. of the souvenir shop <laughs> and she moved on. Uh, if you haven't uh, played that, that's basically one of the only selling points of the S Force is they have a souvenir shop. <laughs> SP Little Knight's so busted. Yeah, it's a great card. I, 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 I actually am starting to think I need two. Two? Yeah. Means it's greedy. No, because it, uh, in Rescue Ace it protects your uh, your turbulence. So you summon that during the combo, you summon turbulence, if they impermeate the turbulence, you banish it with SP Little Knight, it yeah. resolves something for uh, summon back in your face. I see. So I kind of think I need one for my turn to, on the setup combo and one for follow-up to break my opponent's board. <laughs> Jesus. I, I did ask think I need two SP little than that. I don't know if I've I ever heard you say that before. Oh, I wasn't going to pay the money. This yeah. I'm, I'm going to wait like a week or two and then pick it up for 80. So we have some grim news. Well, it's grim to me anyway. Grim news. Yeah. Hey, no peeking. This is your main great link monster. Oh, uh, no, uh, yeah, that. I've seen Not this. that. So we have <laughs> a V-Jump promo. Yeah, no, announced. No, we don't know well. what the effect is as yet. However, we do know the name is uh, Surgical Striker Spectra. Ah, uh, yeah, the new Sky Striker link. Mm -hmm. 
So, in the blurb, it's a mecha <laughs> piloted by Azalea and Camellia in the manga. Random side thing my father remember. So, you know how they have the favourite cards in the YCS? Yeah. So, at the YCS, this got brought up because one of the guys was like, oh, Sky Striker Kagari is my favourite. I was like, ugh. <laughs> um, then one of the guys like Blue Eyes White Dragon's his favourite and then you could hear the disappointment in Billy Brake's voice of like ah oh, creative aren't you <laughs> I would much prefer that like have a basic ass dragon or a basic ass spell it's caster it's creative though to say it is, Blue Eyes is my yeah. favourite monster I mean like it saying... could be his favourite monster for other reasons than the anime it might was have been the first Blue card Eyes? that he ever bought no. for himself no, like, if he was on stream at fucking YCS oh my god could have been siding it oh, yeah okay. trading target yeah, sorry. Um, they fray on the inside yeah but anyway I prefer items. people have like the anime basics like fucking decode talker or other shit than the fucking waifu bait shit posting garbage that everyone else has the like question fucking is, Madame Veer or fucking Sky Strike of Ray and bleh, if I had bleh. to give my favourite card for a YCS thing would I, I say it? Totally Awesome or would I say Ganesha Elephantus I if I were in your position would say I... Ganesha because hearing them try to pronounce it properly Ganesha <laughs> Elephantus well, no, you just said it with an American accent. I don't think they would pronounce it anywhere near what it was supposed oh, to be. his favourite card is... Ganesha. Elephant. Blah, blah, blah. Where's also, my Ganesha elephant to support coming out? Where's my elephant? Yeah. <laughs> where's my <laughs> elephant, Jerome? <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, Skystriker are getting more cards, uh, so fuck them. Um, and also, they're getting more lore to justify more cards. The OCG Stories Volume Three is oh, confirmed. Uh, so In this one, the good be news like, and Rose is twelve. <laughs> <laughs> you don't pronounce it Rose, do you? It doesn't matter. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> the good news about this announcement is in the blurb: the last volume of the Sky Striker storyline. This is the last we ever need to hear about nah. these specific twelve-year-old women ever again until they invent the next pedophile archetype. <laughs> What if it's already here? Yeah, what? Wait. My con case. Is there a woman in Fire Hydrant? No. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. Toby is pretty thick, though. <laughs> <laughs> that fire engine got bunok donk. <laughs> anyway, uh, in addition to that, we also have the announcement of the Premium Pack 2024. Uh, so on the box art, there are several Sky Striker y looking monster y thingies on it. Uh, so that's probably where a lot of that stuff will come in. Um, and hopefully, that's the last I have to hear about Sky Striker doing anything ever right. Last year's ever fucking again. pack was Sky Striker theme, was it not? Yes. They love it over there. Uh, at least it'll be our next year's pack, so it'll at least be a two years between... It'll be a long time before we have to wait. And also, like, we got so scared when they got announced all their new shit, no. like the fucking all... kaiju. <laughs> the kaiju was the only thing that was playable. The rest <laughs> of it was... So terribly bad. <laughs> Engaged the two. Did nothing. Um, it's because I don't have Mystic Mind. True. Yeah. Although, in the Banlist tournament, they might. Uh, yeah, they'll limit that <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> limit it so it can't go to three. Honestly, I will spend an egregious amount of money to stop Sky Striker and or Mystic Mind decks being a thing. We all know they're just going to start banning all the spell trap removal. They can. I'm planning to go after the cards themselves. Floodgates. Anyway, uh, so we have details that aren't strictly card based. Uh, the high resolution artwork series has been finally given more detail. Uh, so we have the costing, Dream which is 88,000 88, yen, which I think equates to about 900 ish Australian dollars or so, something like that. That's a lot of money. It is a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Um, oh, hang on. The, a lot of money a for card a with the same name is included inside the frame. That's an ultra rare special purple version. Mm. I mean, it's Yay. never coming out of the frame, so you don't <laughs> really care that much. Um, each of them comes in different dimensions, uh, which is a bit annoying. Like depending so, on the card artwork. You could annoy this. You could or, you could own this trash or giant cards. I mean, I don't hate them. I just don't like the costing and also the fact that that's like 
seems to be hard locked into the OCG. So if you want to buy it, you have to pay second. It's so much fucking money. Why would you give two fucks? I like them. I like some of them. Anyway, uh, the ones that have been made are Trishula, Dragon of the Ice Barrier, Witchcrafter, Madame Vere, uh, Red Eyes Dark Dragoon, who has the skinniest legs I've ever seen, uh, Eldritch the Golden Lord in sassy pose, very important distinction. Uh, we've got Divine Arsenal Double A Zeus Sky Thunder, Medionis Drytron, Incredible Ecclesia the Virtuous, uh, Destroyer, no, what's his name? Destiny Hero, Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer. He's also got quite skinny legs and he's got uh, hoof feet. Yeah, but it seems as though a lot of these, you already get all these arts on the cards. It seemingly is just that Some Dragoon. Of them. Yeah. Some of them. The Dragoon is a more full art. Um, v, you're getting a little bit more detail on the sides and the bottom. Uh, Trizula is the same. Yeah. Literally the same. Um, Golden Lord, you're seeing more of the bottom and the sides as well. Uh, yeah. Zeus, you just get more thunder. More wing. Um, <laughs> Medianus Drytron's what literally the same. I there's the Zeus uh, Gundam coming out. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Ecclesia is exactly oh, the same. That. And there's that. like... Like, they could have expanded yeah. it a little bit to actually show the skull hammer that she has. Uh, that's the same. Uh, Lovely Lady Labyrinth, that one again shows more of the sides. Um, With the background? Yeah. And mm. then Cartesia is pretty much exactly the same. So some of them expand on them, some of them don't. Uh, pre-orders have seemingly already opened. Uh, it has to be ordered through Konami Style's website. Um, it seems to be hard locked into the OCG. I like tried to click through just to see what the details were like, and I couldn't get through. Okay. So yeah, but no. uh, not open to us. Also, I don't know how well it would do here, considering when they released the Dark Magician Platinum card, it tanked. Like mm. nobody has bought those. The blue eyes went off. Remember that was yeah. during COVID. Yep, yep, yep. Everyone was onto those. Then they did Got a second it. run. Uh, and everyone got burnt. Uh, so then they tried to do the Dark Magician, and they're like, oh, not falling for that again. <laughs> Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. Fuck you, Jerome! <laughs> <laughs> We're coming for you! <laughs> oh, God. Uh, so, we are currently... Well, actually, by the time you listen to this, it's already over, but uh, we, in this timeline, are in the middle of YCS Indianapolis, um, the stream started at 1am here in Australia, <laughs> so that was nice and fun. I didn't get to bed until about 2.30 last night. I just didn't stay up. I, I just went to bed early and then was like, oh, I'll just wake up for like... I had that thought, but by the time that someone had told me about the time adjustment, I had already had two gins and orange juice and an espresso martini, so oh. I was wired. <laughs> 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 I was good to go. And then someone told me, oh no, you got to wait another two hours. I was like, fuck. I was like still cooking my dinner. At, yes, that late at night. And I was like, because I was cooking my dinner to have for I watching. Remember what I had for dinner. And I was like, mm, oh, I'm just gonna the moment this is done, eat it and go to bed. Pulled pork earlier. That's what I had. Anyway. Oh, I also had pork. I slow roasted some pork. I slow smoked and then, yeah, I did really. I didn't nice do pork. any of that. I put the uh, pulled pork that was prepared by someone else on a roll and ate it. Side plot of Ben's life. The older I get and the more I cook, the more I realise my parents can't fucking cook for shit. <laughs> that is one of the hallmarks of moving out and trying not only your uh, own food, but other people's food. Like, I just sort of kind of assume that I just don't like, like, whole pork. Bro. So, <laughs> like, I made this pork last night, started eating it, and was like, holy fuck, this is so delicious. <laughs> Food cooked right is good. For several years, like, probably into my early 20s, I would say, I assumed that I didn't like steak. Because... I'm the same. My dad, the butcher's son, would cook the fuck out of it. My dad was the butcher. <laughs> <laughs> so, he would serve this, like, triple charred fucking piece of dead cow that he's like, oh yeah, I'm just going to like make sure it's dead by sending it back to hell and then putting it on a plate and I would like sit there chewing on it for fucking ages and then I would like just say to my parents I, I don't want steak I don't think I like steak can I just have sausages please and then eventually I like went to a friend's house and they like put a steak in front of me and it looked very different it looked like it was cooked properly 
No, it, it like it had, it had color. color. It had color, yeah. So your dad's shitty steak was also just the color of sad dead meat. Yeah, yeah, Same. yeah, yeah. Like it wasn't. Okay. There was no color left in it anymore. That's probably why it took me so long to realize I was red green color deficient because no red yeah. meat was ever put in front <laughs> it's, of me. It's put in front of you. It's a gray. It's a gray blob. <laughs> I didn't know how it could be so fucking well cooked, like well done, and not be burnt. I was like, no wonder the steak takes four hours. Because, like, he'd always come home and be like, oh, no, we're going to have steak for dinner. I'd be like, fuck. <laughs> Literally. like I, I guess I'm not having dinner for another three hours because <laughs> you're going to put the, the pan to 100, put this steak on, and be like, well, I'll flip it in two hours. It was so bad. And the only reason he learnt that his steak was bad is because he went to a business trip to Spain and was, like, eating out with some, like, higher-ups in his business. And, like, he tried to order a steak well done at a restaurant. No, no, no. And in Spain, you don't do that. No, no, no. You, <laughs> you get told how they cook it. And That's he was what, like... I, gonna... I do that now that I eat steak and I enjoy steak. If I go to a restaurant and they're like, how would you like that cook? I just get a chef's suggestion. Yeah, do we do what you think. Yeah, so the waiter's like, no, no, we'll cook it how it's supposed to be. And he was going to go off and the, like, higher-ups and it's just like, just just let him, let him cook, literally. And he has this beautiful steak and he's like, I've been doing it wrong for so long. Yes. Yes. So yeah, I was the same with pork, where my dad would always be like, roasting pork, and I was like, can we make sure there's gravy? Because that shit's dry as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Anyway, so side, that's... Side uh, subplot of our lives. Yeah. Um, feel free to leave uh, those kinds of stories in the Discord too. It's not Yu-Gi-Oh related, but we love to hear it. I bet Jerome cooks steak like that. Oh yeah. <laughs> That or he just we eats know, it. We know, Jerome. We know. That or he eats it raw. No, no, no. No, no. I could imagine him like coming out of the butcher with it in a brown paper bag, nah. s- squatting in the park and just going... <laughs> no, Jerome's too methodical. Jerome would like go home, sit at the frying pan for two hours as it very slowly cooks and he'd be like, ah, yes, this is suffice. Oh. Before we move oh. on to our Discord, we have uh, a new... new announcement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so we've got a new uh, 25th anniversary merchandise collab. Uh, so from what I can see here, it's kind of random. Um, Shirts. But we've got some sort of uh, Karibo? Karibo thing, which I think is a promo that comes with it. Oh, if you spend 50 US or more on Yugo products, you get the OCG Karibo with the GU logo. Oh, 300. I don't know what GU is. I'm assuming it's the person who's making this thing only 300 did you available. get a store in New York City only 300 available since Soho yeah, coming here. Yeah, yeah we ain't getting anywhere near this shit uh, you can contain a, a you can purchase a special box containing all five of the collection hoodies and sweatshirts for 169.90 US that's not too bad uh, also contains an OCG Blue Eyes Toon Dragon also printed with the GU logo but only 30 boxes of that are available oh, that's and the box why will it's only be available price. in person um, oh. So yeah, we've got uh, some t-shirts, a couple of Zoom on that graphic on that tune shirt. Zoom. Hard zoom. Hard oh, that shit. <laughs> That's so bad! Who, who made this? So <laughs> what this is, because um, I don't know whether we'll get around to actually editing it, is, uh, it is white text with slightly black uh, shading around it saying Tune World, a monochrome graphic of Toon World I could make Photoshop in literally two minutes literally like I could do that and I have no editing skills whatsoever Uh, I appreciate that we're getting merch but need to try a little harder there's this and then there's the shit that I went to Glam in Tokyo to go and get so like I went to Glam in Tokyo to specifically get the JoJo's merch that they do because it's so fucking good and when I was there the guy was like oh, you know, we have a Pokemon, like, collaboration. I was like, you do? And he, like, showed me the pictures, and I was like, holy fuck, can I get this? And he was like, no, we're sold out. And I was like, fuck you. Why what? you tell me that? <laughs> <laughs> that guy was super nice. I was like, oh, that's awesome, man. Like, I've already spent 300 bucks here, and I don't have any more money to buy this, even if it was here. But, like, one of them was, like, a fight card shirt that had, like, McChamp on one side, I think it was Primeape on the other. And I was like, fuck, that's a nice shirt. It was like a promo for like, remember the fight in like season one where the primate enters into uh, the yeah. fighting championship? Yeah, yeah. It was uh, like a yeah. promo shirt for that. And I was like, oh shit, that's a nice shirt. And it's like obscure reference too. 
I'd love to like come with you in that scenario where um, it's in a car yard and you're like looking at like the basic Volkswagen Golfs and they're like, oh, we've got these Rolls Royces over here. <laughs> oh no, we don't. Oh. Not for you. <laughs> <laughs> Just so rude. Like I get that he may have been trying to help, but it's not helpful. It did make me go online and try and find them second hands yeah. around yeah. to see if I could be like, fuck, get this shit. Um, but yeah, they've got some hoodies and some socks. Uh, the socks, socks are quite shit. Unless that's, Bro, that is unless that's embroidered. I don't even give a fuck if that's embroidered. If that's embroidered, that sock is going to turn to shit when you wash it. Yeah, that's true too. <laughs> uh, so Those underwear are the best thing in this collaboration. Millennium Minor well, underwear? Well, it says Millennium Item, but that's definitely a picture of Creeper. Creeper? Creeper. Oh, I see a Millennium Y there. Oh, no, it's just Creebos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Creebo has multiplied on oh, your look, joke. Still, <laughs> still not. That's the nicest thing in this collaboration. Oh, there's a navy one with blue eyes, white dragon. It might be worth checking out the website. They may have some better stuff than what's pictured. It may just be uh, that whoever uh, put this us. article together is uh, picking some terrible content. They're, they're, they're like, fuck, this stuff's so good. Oh I'm going to show the rest of it. I'm going to show this. Like, this terrible PNG of Toon World. Who doesn't want that? Oh, I forgot to finish that sentence too. Do um, down the bottom of the graphic of Toon World, it oh. just had activate this card by paying a thousand life points. Yeah, just <laughs> that's, that's, it. It. <laughs> that's it. But it also said it had like Toon, Blue Eyes, White Dragon and stuff like that. So like, do you remember the wall of text that those used to be? I'm now imagining like the title, the shitty graphic, and then just a whole bunch of shit down here saying, this card cannot be normal summon the third. <laughs> Can we we should make parody shirts that's got like fucking cards that have hilariously long amount of text and like put a black and white image of it and then just fucking text the whole way down the shirt. I'm down for that. I thought you were gonna go the opposite no. way and just play into it and be like, um Mech Knight Avram. Check this out! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Either way, Jesus. I'm down. I'm so in for that. Um, but moving on, we uh, jump into our Discord. If you weren't aware, we do have a Discord. Link will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in, say hi. Uh, that's where you'll be getting updates for our uh, Mega Band List tourney later this yep. year. So uh, keep your eyes peeled for that. Uh, and it's also where you can ask us some questions. Uh, light again on questions this week. Just two from 6th or 6. There's a whole bunch of claps. Yeah, that's just how he likes to break it up from week to week so we know when we've started and when we've stopped. Oh, thank you, 656. Yeah, it's a very helpful feature. I don't know if I've ever mentioned it before, but thank you very much. Um, I think he was also the person that like started people putting it in like the, the, question boxes? the bits so I could actually read it. It's very helpful. Thank you for managing the Discord that uh, one of our members set up and then fucked off. <laughs> I don't know who he's talking about. No. Uh, anyway, first, wasn't me. first question this week. I have no power there. Uh, is what is your favourite barbecue meat? Oh <laughs> yo, here we go. Okay, I is this because we had the brisket? Have we mentioned that we did the brisket? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Week? You mentioned the brisket while I was cooking a couple of weeks ago or okay. whenever it was. Like I like a good brisket, but that takes too long to just ha cook on a barbecue. Um, yeah, there's a lot more thought that needs to go in for a brisket. It's not a oh, I feel like brisket at five pm. Yeah, is it is it sausages? I do like us. I do like sausages. The best barbecue meat. I could really go for a sausage sandwich right now, but I've got a fucking shitload of pork at home. Oh, that's right. Cause yeah, yeah. Um, what is my favorite? Like, it's not really the same because, like, when you go to a restaurant and have a nice steak, they're not cooking it on a barbecue. They're no. cooking it like they're cooking it on a grill. Yeah. Um, is it a bunny sausage? Bunny sausages are kind of dope. I was it's there. Different. A week or two ago, and like I wasn't there for the sausage sandwich. Um, oh, I should probably explain this for maybe our non Australian viewers. Um, so we have a hardware store. I think um, they know this. <laughs> is it more? Yeah. Is it famous enough that people know this? I don't know if it is. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to take a moment to explain. Okay. It, which would have been finished already if yeah. you hadn't interrupted. So. In Australia, we have a hardware store called Bunnings. Uh, kind of took over all the other ones, uh, but basically one of the defining features of it is that uh, they would do like charity sausage sizzles out the front every week. So you'd like say, hey, we want to do some charity stuff. They let you set up the barbecue. You pay like $2.50 for a sausage sandwich with some onion $3. and some sauce. $3.50 now. Is it? I swear the sign I saw. It was $3.50 when I was there yesterday. Anyway, I haven't bought one in 
clearly a very long time. Um, I did see that the soft drinks were $1.50, which yes. angered me. It's five bucks for the two. Cans of drink should only ever be a dollar. I don't care about inflation. Yeah. That's the one thing that should remain constant. Yeah. One dollar cans of drink. To be fair, if they're not getting them on sale, they'd lose money at that. Yeah, I know. It, it's a, it's very chatty, so it feels bad to whinge about the money. Anyway, um, yeah, those are quite good. But I wasn't there for that, and it was like only on my way out, and I had like a whole like raft of shit with me, so I was like, oh, I'm not really equipped. I'm too equipped yeah. to so handle get a sausage. In. I get it going in. I should have. Drop that onion on the floor. Have. Slip has it. Get buddy soon. <laughs> <laughs> Bring back Mitre 10. Oh, no, I think Mitre 10 is still in business. They are still in business somehow. I don't know how. Like, let, for American viewers, this is the context of, like, you're going to, I don't know, a fucking Walmart or is Lowe's their big fucking hardware store? Target's a big one for them, too. Oh, yeah. it's not a hardware yeah, store. Let's such, say but, yeah. you go to, like, the fucking biggest hardware store you have and just set up out the front is, like, some mums from the local soccer team. Actually, it's kind of more like Girls Get Out Cookies. No, no, no. Because we have Girl Scout cookies. Do we have Girl Scouts? Uh, yes, but... Not anymore. Yeah. We used to, but... Yeah. Girl Scout cookies are actually quite good. Yeah. They're just impossible to find. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are we... Continue. Barbecue meat. Um, Go ahead, barbecue meat. <laughs> I haven't mentioned mine yet. <laughs> yeah. I really like, like, a honey soy chicken skewer on a barbecue. Mm. It gets like a nice bit of crisp on the um, marinade bits. It's really good. I don't like too much crisp on the marinade. Like I'm not a huge fan of like a massive Especially amount of crisp chicken because then the skin just comes off and it's like, oh. But if it's on a skewer, it's not got skin. Well, yeah, I guess. It's just breasts. I don't know why that. <laughs> <went with> breasts. <laughs> breasts. Yeah. Ah uh, yes, breasts. Breasts. <laughs> Kurt, your barbecue meat. Uh, I don't really have a favourite Name your meat I think it's just sausages Yeah, I, honestly I think it is just sausages Okay, but here's the, an important question Because like every other meat I would rather cook a different way Yes But sausages Barbecue every time Yes, but mm. Important distinction Do you like The skinny sausage Or the fat sausage Skinny sausage Yes yeah. Sausages Skinny, yes Yes Yeah Fat sausages can fuck off Yeah, yeah, yeah. It takes too long to cook it Takes too long to cook they don't, Consistency no, they're not is right on a sandwich. You can't Correct. just fold the bread. Yeah, yeah. The only way that like the fat sausages work is if you cut them down the center and, uh, and then like grill them. like, yeah. and then the um, middle section Double gets crispy. Bread. Oh, those are those I'm down for. Um, spent a lot longer Fine. on that question than I, I thought we would. Um, Next and question. And then last question from six r six. Given the OCG is generally not a good indicator of how a deck will perform in the TCG. Is the same true for individual cards' performance in the OCG versus the TCG, i.e. new generic staples? Uh, depends. Because, like, certain things over there are, like, insane. They come here and it's like, eh. And a lot of the interactions are, are based around Maxi. Yes. Like, yes. Thrust is fucking huge and it has been huge for a while just because it's like you're constantly getting max seed and you're just like ah oh, it's fine I'll thrust for my floodgate it's like the constant hand trap every deck plays it mm. it's yeah there's a lot there but I wonder if it would like cause a massive shake up in the OCG if everyone just decided I'm gonna go second and not play max C, or like at least not activate it <laughs> eh that would happen um that's gonna happen now one of the big things that I've noticed is like extra deck monsters for some reason it seemingly takes us longer to get good extra deck monsters I'm not sure if this has changed recently now that we don't have like fucking this absurd collection of like the links that they got cause like oh, there was true. a time in the OCG where like you could go Halk into Summon Sorceress into Boral Sword off a fucking Jet Synchron so like, you could get to your Boral off normal Summon Jet Synchron and it was like Okay, that's absurd. Yeah, well, I suppose one of the things as well is that, like, they get released everything at once and then they sort of work out what the problem cards are after, after. the fact. Yeah. Whereas, like, the TCG has the benefit of foresight and they can go, okay, so those two cards together, big fucky fucky. Then we just Let's not get do that. the cards. 
Yeah, it does take a long time. Like, it took us ages to get Hulk and stuff, which kind of sucked at the time, but looking back on it was kind of necessary. Bro, it would have been so good to get all those cards at once. It would have been disgusting. Like, imagine just being able to go normal summon, link one, combo. It just I have produced... Every deck would have just played the same sort of engine, though. Yeah. It's like... I'm taking normal engine. Um... Normal summon engine. I need it. Yeah. Shut up, Rudy. Normal summon a monster that doesn't need to resolve 6,000 back. Why am I the Rudy person? <laughs> you made yourself the Rudy yeah, person. Yeah, you seem to be back yourself into this corner. Um, I've got be, my Horus stuff for Tier Element. Refuses to play Tier Element. It'll be curious to see where we go in sense of like things like I SP Little Knight. Because like, that card just seems incredibly busted regardless. Yes. Honestly, it could get banned. Yeah. Could be. I wouldn't Just be surprised adding to the series of banned. busted Link 2s. One year banned. You gotta reprint it. Oh, they could do it super early in the rarity collection. Imagine. No, 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 no. They could. We're getting that, very that set could. card for card just with Maxi taken out. I don't know if we are. Because we all the stuff they've been out so far, it was in the ja- the OCG okay, one. Okay, think of what are the cut? They had the smallest ban list. It was like a Rise Heart Chaos Space Mag, and just brought back stuff. Yeah, they made it the smallest ban list for them to release the rarity collection with like Pot of Strategy, all those other cards. They will just print Sell every it. well. Firstly, every woman card that they can think of will have a rarity collection print. Every staple will have one. Every, like, meta-relevant card, I reckon, at the moment, could possibly have one. Is Karakura's not an OCG, a TCG exclusive, is it? No, it is OCG like first. That, produced signif- that played significantly better here than it did there. Yeah, that it played well here uh, because... Because they hit cash tier at the same they time as they hit cash tier. at the same time they hit. Yeah, so Kok was a much better card here. Yeah. Castura was here for so long. Still here. Well, it's, barely. It's, it's still here, but it's, it's, still, it's still an engine. It's still an engine. I'm normal summon. Spe- oh, special Fenrir. Fenrir search. Normal summon. Literally anything else. Go. Yeah. yeah. I reckon this next ban list could be big. Oh, 100%. The December uh, ban list. Yeah. yeah. The next ban list, Ooh. I reckon, needs to be massive because there's yeah. issues in the format. I kind of hope, though, that they leave certain things alone. Hmm, I wonder what those certain well, things no, could no, be. No, like, hmm. <laughs> I don't want them to hit any other cards in Pearly. Do they need to? Yeah, exactly. I don't think they need to hit any more cards in Pearly. No. I don't think Pearly's doing enough. They consistently do like, absurd things. The only problem is Gnaw, but like, you can't really just ban that card for it doing nothing. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> the way you say Noir oh. is so good. Oh. <laughs> it's like the typical oh, way that yeah. everyone thinks that we say no in Australia. Oh, no. No, no <laughs> mate. No. <laughs> yeah, like, you can't... Yeah. You can't do anything to it. I don't want that deck getting hit. The only problem is it's not way, being unaffected. It's very premature, I understand. But, like... It's so easy to out. What decks do you think, coming up to December, like, keeping in mind the stuff that we have just released, are going to be your biggest issues? Get an impulse. Um, <laughs> so uh, they're probably gonna have to hit. Is that Sky Striker or Link One? That's generic. Which one? one? Yeah, is that how there's a kaiju? It's a kaiju. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's main deck kaiju. It's not Link. Ah, uh, that's, it was a that's link. not how kaiju's work. Uh, <laughs> I thought it was a Link. Imagine kaijuing from the extra deck. I'm... No, it was like just a big machine thing, and it's treated as a Sky Striker card, and it's like if you control. A Sky Striker monster in the main monster zone, you contribute over a monster your opponent controls. Yeah, it requires a lot. To I thought it was a Link Summon card that you could summon and then do that. No, 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 no. It's like a main deck monster that you have Imagine to Imagine that being the next fucking mechanic they give that stupid deck. Oh, uh, that's removed. Link Summon. Oh, your right monster's me. gone. <laughs> oh, I, then you've activated an effect. <laughs> I'll be real. I read uh, the new Anti Zeus properly for the first time today. Yep. And I was like, oh shit, this is a non-targeting removal. Yes. Yeah. I, I thought it was just the floodgate effect. I didn't realise there was an extra line of text at the bottom. Yeah, yeah, it does in fact do two things. Yeah. It was cute. 
Although I haven't read entirely what its summoning conditions are, like what does your, restrictions your are. Your opponent needs to special summon for extra twice. Oh yeah, that'll like that's pretty much locked in unless you're playing Flunder. But oh, you can like, move your the highest attack. Oh, that, it also does that. So mm -hmm. you can Xyz with the highest attack monster you control the turn or the turn or the turn after your opponent special summons twice from the extra deck. Ah, oh, okay, so they need... But is there any restriction on summoning after it? Is it like... You cannot you can summon after it. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so it needs to be the last thing you do. I'm a sneeze. Sorry for the mic. It it's makes sense, though, because, like, it'd be kind of shit... <laughs> bless you. It'd be kind of shit if, like, you just summoned this, bounce the most powerful thing, attacked into whatever, and then just whacked it. Right, <laughs> <on something>. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be fucked. Yeah. Man, um, cards, cards, yeah. There's, there's definitely a lot of changes between interact individual cards depending on how the format goes. There'll be some people that figure shit out. Yeah, exactly. The other thing is too, like, and it's like it's harped on so much, I know, but Max C is a big factor in how they build their decks. Yeah. Like, mm. it needs to be considered at any point, and I feel like that's like one of the biggest reasons that Crossout was as prominent in the OCG as it ever was, and just never was here. Because like you can afford to play through one or two hand traps here without too much issue, mm. but like if you're trying to play through those, and your opponent is drawing for every special summon you do, it's, it's a problem. An issue, yeah. Mm. That's Maxi, also why. Uh, oh, sorry, Maxi always also predicts their ban list. Huh? They're never, they're never going to get rid of Max C. No. no, the OCG love it too much. But the things that they ban, like let's say branded fusion to one, that's, Max C is getting that to your hand. That's always been a huge thing of them. Of they don't like banning cards. They will like limit consistency. The, yeah, they yes. will limit the fuck out of everything in a deck just to not ban something. Like. I think at one point we had they had ABC Dragon Buster at one, Union Hanger at one, just to deal with ABC, a deck that's at full power here and you wouldn't give a single fuck about. Uh, it only ever went to one when the master rule changed and they were like, this is going to be a problem. Mm -hmm. And then it was not a problem at all. No. And they've done a bit of that yo-yoing here as well. Like They have changed it once like, or twice here. And then they realise that no one gives a fuck yeah. about it. When you see the full OCG ban list, the amount of cards that are limited and semi-limited for literally the reason of just consistency. consistency. It's like, they don't like killing things, they just nerf it. They just go, eh. Um, what was I going to say before? Uh, it also warps their main deck building in the way that they just they test out a lot of hand traps because they just play one. Mm -hmm. They play three max C and then one of each hand trap because they don't want to draw two Ash. Like you'll normally see, well, Ash was a bad example because they didn't play three of that. But you'll see three max C, three Ash, one 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 in a ten hand trap deck. Yeah, like yeah. Mono Vela, yeah. um, Crow, and Nibiru. Yeah. They experiment a lot more with their hand trap lines because, like, well, if I max C you, I don't want to draw two of the same. There. Yeah. Uh, but that does conclude us for this week. Thank you all very much for listening and watching. If you are listening along, feel free to favourite. If you're watching on YouTube, like and subscribe. Jump into our Discord. Uh, keep posted on details for Mega Band this tourney later this year. Uh, ask us some questions for next week, uh, other than 656. Well, as well as 656. We'd like questions from you. But the rest of you, ask questions. And we'll catch you then. Peace. Bye.